Peace and love, collective peace and love, and welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be our message for today, June 24th, 2023. I hope that this message finds you in peace, love, and prosperity. So I am hearing a lot of toads um, croaking or whatever it's called outside my window right now. And they're so loud that my window is closed, but I can still hear them. And you may even be able to hear this in the video, but frogs or toads represent transformation, okay? Um, so collective, I do feel as if you are in a transformative cycle right now. You are being made uncomfortable because when you are uncomfortable, you transform. When you're comfortable, things stay the same. When you're not comfortable, you're forced to change. And transformation is just another word for change. So I do feel like there is some changes happening in your life, okay? And when I think of the frog, I think of princess and the frog. So I feel like these changes are in relation to your heart, okay? Um, frogs are also green or toads are green and the heart chakra is green as well. I feel as if you are changing and transforming in terms of a situation or a matter of love, okay? Um, and then I'm hearing the tink song. Thank you for the lessons that you taught me. So I feel like you love someone and this person was your greatest love as well as your greatest life lesson. I feel like this person taught you firsthand the importance of self-love, the importance of paying attention to red flags, the importance of not ignoring your intuition just for the sake of love. Because I feel like with this person, there were red flags, but you overlooked them. I feel like your intuition kept trying to tell you that something was not right in terms of this person or a relationship with this person. But I feel like you ignored your intuition because your feelings were a lot stronger. Your, your emotional feelings towards this person, the love that you felt and the pull that you felt to this person caused you to ignore your intuition. So I feel like overall, while it hurt and it stung and it still hurts a bit, I feel like overall you learned a valuable lesson about not ignoring that intuition. And it's bittersweet because some lessons have to be learned the hardest way, okay? Sometimes when we're too hard-headed, spirit has to break us down and get us to see past the illusions. And I feel like there was a lot of fakery, a lot of false illusions in terms of the relationship with this person. I feel like you definitely put this person on the pedestal and you saw past this person's flaws. You saw this person on a deeper level. You saw this person's soul in their heart, but this person may be very traumatized by life. And this person chooses to act out of their lower nature. So even though you, everyone has a high vibrational side and a low vibrational side, it's up to each individual whether they choose to operate from the highs or the lows. And I feel like you saw the good in this person. It, it's definitely there. I'm not saying this person doesn't have any good in them. You saw that in them. But I feel like this person chooses to operate out of their lower nature. And I feel like for this person, it's a form of protection, okay? This person may have been hurt a lot of times in this lifetime, in their previous lives. This person may have been let down. This person may have experienced a lot of trauma. And I feel like this person may hurt other people before they can hurt 
them, if that makes sense, okay? So let's see what the cards have to say. Yeah, the five of pentacles, okay? I definitely feel like um, this person may have took a lot from you, okay? This person may have took a lot from you collective. This person caused you your stability, okay? A loss of stability. So not only was this person taken from you financially, um, this person was taken from you emotionally as well. I feel like in the end, this person left you very emotionally insecure. I feel like before this person or even during the relationship, you had very high self-esteem. Um, you thought very highly of yourself. But whatever this person did, it caused you to question your worth and question your value. And I feel like you lost your emotional security. You lost money. You lost stability. You lost the foundation because I feel like this person put you in a position of being um, very depressed, um, very emotionally unstable, um, very anxious. And I feel like you couldn't focus like you normally would because you were so hurt. You were trying to heal from the pain that this person caused you. Because this is a Taurus card, and this is also a um, Mercury card, I feel like the communication from this person, I feel like this person could have just cut off communication with you, um, or this person could have used some type of reverse psychology, okay? So this person ghosted you or ignored you often, um, instead of just keeping it real with you and telling you, you know, what it was or what they truly felt. Okay. Um, so with the five of pentacles, I definitely feel as if you had to take a loss. Okay. In terms of the relationship with someone. Yes. The four of swords. Okay. Libra type energy, Jupiter type energy. I feel like the bulk of the keep trying to keep the relationship together was you. I feel like you put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into trying to keep everything together, keep everything together financially, keep everything together emotionally. And I do feel like in the end, the load was too heavy for you to bear, um, but you still tried to carry it anyways, okay? And ultimately, I feel like this person did you a favor by walking away from you, but I do feel as if they were wrong in the way that they chose to do it, okay? I feel like this person led you on for a very long time, okay? And I feel like it's not what you do, but how you choose to do it. And I feel like this person could have had a lot more consideration for your feelings, especially all of the things that you had done for this person, okay? And all of the ways in which you had showed up for this person and been there for this person. And with the Four of Swords, I feel as if um, this person held on to someone else, okay? This person probably continued to go back to someone from their past. And if this is not a person that this person was holding on to and refused to let go of, this was some emotional trauma. Okay, this person stayed stuck in the past. That's why they couldn't have any forward movement or progress in the relationship with you because this person was holding on to something from the past. Either this was a person or this was some type of trauma that causes this person to act in the way that they act, which is very immaturely. Yes, this person betrayed you. Look at this. Scorpio energy, okay? Mars energy, you had a lot of passion for this person. There was a lot of passion and desire for this person and for this relationship. This could have been a Scorpio, but the Scorpio also represents the transformation. The Scorpio represents the death and the rebirth. This person betrayed you, um, but this person like left you to have to grieve, okay? Um you really took it, took this separation or this breakup or this divorce very hard, okay? You took this very hard and 
It took you a long time to get over. And I feel like for some of you, you're still in the process of healing. Okay. You're still grieving. You're still um, looking for some type of closure. Okay. Yeah. Look at the queen of swords. This person, the, look how his back is turned. This person definitely turned their back on you. And this person could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or this person turned their back on you for a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But the Queen of Swords is a divorced person, okay? Uh, a person that is dealing with the leftover baggage and consequences from a separation, okay? So... With the Queen of Swords, someone definitely turned your their back on you and left you to heal by yourself, collective. Yeah, but Six of Wands, Leo energy, okay, Jupiter energy. I do feel like luck is on your side, okay? The Six represents the healing. I feel like you're still trying to heal, but I feel like you are going to be victorious in this healing. Leo represents bravery. Leo represents courage. Leo represents fortitude. And you have all of that. In spite of how hard it has been for you, you do have what it takes to overcome what you've been going through in terms of this relationship, okay? With the devil card coming out here, you've definitely experienced bouts of depression um, for a long time now, okay? This this separation could have happened two years ago, a year ago, one year ago, six months. It, it wasn't yesterday, okay? This didn't just happen. And um, Capricorn rules long cycles, long journeys because it's ruled by Saturn, okay? So I feel like this person left you in a very depressed state in a very low vibrational state for a long period of time. And it took you a very long time to get over that, okay? I feel like this person left you feeling very exposed, okay? I feel like a lot of people may have known um, what this person did to you or what this person was doing. Um, maybe you were the last one to find out, but I feel like other people are involved here, okay? I feel like this person definitely um, just played a dangerous game with someone's heart and that's your heart with the queen of wands in reverse okay this is leo aries sagittarius energy so someone could be a fire sign or either an air sign those are the two signs that have came out so far but with the queen of um wands in reverse i feel like um this person tried to knock you off your game okay the Queen of Wands is very assertive, very dominant. And I feel like this person didn't like that characteristic trait that you had. This person wanted to be in control. This person wanted to dominate you, okay? And I feel like because you had such a dominant personality, this person, you know, played a dangerous game with your heart. You have the king of, I mean, the queen of wands in reverse and then the king of wands in reverse. So this is a couple, okay? This is definitely a fire sign energy, okay? This is someone who tried to play you, but ended up playing themselves, okay? Um, the four of cups in reverse. Rejection is protection, collective, okay? Rejection is protection. And although that sounds cliche, and although... It's not always what we want to hear when we're hurt and we're rejected. But sometimes that rejection really is protection. Because with this nine of swords, this person is is so fucked up on the inside, okay? Uh, they may pretend to be happy where they are, but this person is not happy with themselves in general. So everything that they do, every bit of happiness is fake, okay? Yeah, there's a tower moment coming for this person, okay? This person is like not happy with their life. They're not happy with themselves. They're living a lie, okay? And with the tower card coming here, um, the tower card is severing ties with the devil, okay? This card, if you think of the fool's journey, the tower card comes after the devil card, okay? The devil card is the low vibrational um, nature, the temptations of a person. And with the tower card coming next, 
it's like the only way to sever ties with the devil is to experience the tower. And I feel as if this person is experiencing or on the brink of experiencing an unexpected tower moment in their life because eventually every dog has their day, okay? Eventually everyone has to pay up for the choices that they've made, all right, is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, six of cups, someone is missing you, all right? And that could be that tower moment here, realizing that they made a mistake, realizing that you meant a lot more to them than they originally thought, okay? Missing you, feeling like they missed out on an opportunity, um, reminiscing on the times that you guys shared and the things that you used to do together, okay? And then the three of wands in reverse, okay? There's no movement in this person's life. What I'm getting with the three of wands is that this person kind of has just been waking up every day and every day is the same. There's no progress. There's no growth. There's nothing really good happening in this person's life. This person is kind of feeling like a robot. They just get up every day. Um, they go to work, they come back and it's just like, it's just like this really stagnant energy. Okay. Um, the star card here. Okay. Um, healing has to be done and healing is happening. And I feel like you're going to hear, hear from this person soon because I feel like spirit is forcing this person to reach out to you and to play their role or play the role that they're meant to play in the healing process of this relationship altogether. Because you, it's not only you that has to heal, this person has to heal as well, okay? And with the eight of um, swords in reverse, okay, I feel like this person is no longer feeling trapped wherever they are. I feel like this person could have ghosted you and you may have not heard from this person because wherever they were, they were feeling trapped and stuck. They didn't know what decision to make. They didn't know how to choose and they just they just didn't do anything, okay? They allowed someone else to dictate their choices. But I feel like this person is being released from a situation. This person can see things clearly now. And there and then you did get the uh Queen of Swords. This person may be going through a divorce or a separation. But look, the Ten of Cups in reverse. This person is not happy. Okay? This person is not in a happy home. Okay? And why? Because this person wants reunion with their true love. Peace.